Hey, welcome back to Daily Hope. Question for you, if you had to summarize in one Bible verse, here's what a good church should be about. Well, there's a few things that of course you know. It's gotta be under Jesus as the head of the church. It's gotta be committed to the Bible. We've learned in the book of Acts, it needs the Holy Spirit. Uh, but with those givens and the givens of we're gonna believe whatever the Bible says, what kind of things should the people be doing in a biblical church, in an ideal church? Well, it's not the only answer in scripture, but one of the most succinct, brief answers is found here in Acts 2, verse 42. And if you were with us yesterday, you learned that in one day, the church grew from 120 people to 3,120 people. Well, if you're the apostles, what are you gonna do? How are you gonna organize 3,120 people? Here's what the Holy Spirit leads them to do. Acts 2, verse 42. All the believers devoted themselves to the apostles' teaching. Okay, so that's the first, the teaching of the word of God. Any biblical church, the people of the church should be devoted to the teaching of the word of God. The fact that you're part of Daily Hope tells me <laughs> you're on the right track for that. Second, to fellowship. What is fellowship? I like the old definition, it's two fellows in a ship. <laughs> it's the idea of actually living life with other believers. So you're sharing your needs and you're sharing your blessings, you're sharing prayer requests and burdens, you're weeping together, you're laughing together, bringing each other meals when you're sick. That's a key part of what God wants you to experience. So we've seen two attributes so far of a biblical church in this early model, uh, committed to the teaching of God's word, which by the way was happening in the temple courts. So that was a big building. There's nothing wrong with big buildings as long as it's all about Jesus and his word, okay? So they're committed to the teaching of God's word. 3,000 people are showing up for that. They're committed to fellowship. So even though they're in a group of 3,120, everyone knows some people by name. They don't know everyone by name, but they know some people by name. Third, the sharing of meals which included the Lord's Supper, taking communion, but actually sharing meals with other believers. This is part of God's plan for you. And then fourth, prayer. A biblical church is a praying church. So this story continues, but I just wanna ask you today, which of those four things do you most need in your life right now? Um, do you need to be committed to weekly worship in some gathering at a church building most likely, or you can join us online where the word of God is being taught. Second, do you have other Christians who really know you? Uh, again, if you don't, um, we have groups that meet fully online if you're in another state. We'll put a link for that at the end of this. Third, are you eating meals and taking communion with any other believers? And then fourth, are you committed to praying, uh, praying that God will do his work in and through the church? Well, I'll see you tomorrow for more Daily Hope.